gonna show you how to do a lettuce hem with your serger. So the very first thing you have to do is take out some parts of your serger. So you have to take out the left needle completely and you can do that with the little tool or the screwdriver that came with your serger. So it's a little L-shaped tool like this and you're gonna unscrew and untighten your needles and completely remove your left needle. And you do have to completely take it out, trust me. I tried to just leave it and take out my thread and that was one of the mistakes that I made when I first started learning how to do a lettuce hem. So get that needle out and take the thread out. So I usually hold on to both of my needles and then I will loosen it and only let that left needle slide out. It is a little tricky, but you will get the hang of it. So after we get that needle out, we're gonna snip this thread. I'm gonna pull it completely out, and then we need to remove our stitch finger. So you're just gonna open the sliding door, and at the bottom of your stitch finger, there's gonna be a little button that you can push, and that'll pop right out. So after you get that out, you can close this back up, and now we need to get the remaining thread out that is in our tail here. So I'll just leave it on the settings it's on and run this just to get that little bit of thread out. And now where my left needle was, I'm gonna take that dial to zero because there's nothing in that, we're not using it. My next dial, I'm gonna set to four, which it was already on for, and then five, six. So we have four, five, six. Some people use four, five, seven but I typically do six. So now before I even start sewing on my garment or scrap piece, I am just gonna make sure my chain is correct. So I'm just gonna run that and make sure that my settings look okay. It should get a lot thinner and smaller, whereas opposed to your regular settings, they were larger loops like this. Now for our side settings, I'm gonna take my differential feed down to a one, and then my other two settings, you're gonna take both of those down to R for rolled hem. So first I'm gonna show you the rolled hem using these different colored threads. That way you can see exactly where each thread is gonna be and get familiar with them when you do your lettuce hem. Now for a lettuce hem to work, you do need to use a knit fabric. So I'm gonna be using this rib knit and we're just gonna do a lettuce hem with no stretching so you can see where all the threads are. So we're gonna start by lifting up our presser foot and sliding our fabric under. And I do line my fabric up with the edge of my machine here and my knife I do leave on. I cut off just a little sliver. That way my needles aren't skipping over any fabric and leaving any holes. I just thought this would be a nice visual so that you could see exactly where your threads should be. And as you can see, the navy blue or the upper looper thread is what you're gonna see the most of. So let's do it again now with all white thread. So I'm gonna use rib knit. I have the same settings, four, five, six, and we're gonna go ahead and do our lettuce hem on this one. Now when you're doing your lettuce hem, you don't push down on your presser foot as hard as you would if you were sewing a regular seam you want to go a little bit slower so you'll see the pace at which I'm doing mine here for the first half of my fabric I'm only gonna stretch from one side this is typically how I do it I will hold my fabric taut and just give some resistance on the one side instead of stretching from both directions That's about the speed I'm going. And again, I'm just holding my fabric taut like this and giving it some resistance. And I'm cutting off just a little slither here, so I'm gonna line up with the edge. Now here I'm stretching from the front and the back, and we're gonna see what both of these look like. So here's my first half where I started. And then we get to the second half over here. So as you can see, the more that you stretch it, the more wave or the more lettuce hem effect that you will have. But another thing that you can do is if you have a lettuce hem section where it wasn't as wavy as you would like it to be, you can grab that fabric and just pull it like this and it will ruffle back up for you. So this is what a successful lettuce hem should look like. 
here's our entire piece where I did both methods on. So it's really a preference. If you like to stretch from both directions, you can do it that way. Or if you just wanna stretch from the one, you can do it that way as well. Here's an example of the lettuce hem on a finished garment. This is the Lowland Kids Sleep Set Tank. You can do this on anything. You can do it on dresses, on sleeves. It's totally up to you. It just takes practice. So if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and please subscribe.